I'm in my uniform because I literally just finished a trip. Waiting to see if we're gonna get on. <laughs> Wait, guess what, guess what? I always ask the flight attendant because they always know when the good food is. I'm not laughing at you at all. I'm laughing at the situation. Oh my gosh, Brennan would love this. Katie would love this. We won't give it up. We do not give up, Michael. guys it's time for another adventure mike and i made it to boston it's been a minute since i've vlogged i think the last time i vlogged was when we were at the outer banks which was um, our last vacation that we took then it has been crazy nuts busy working and all the stuff since then i haven't seen the kids i generally tend to not vlog when it's just me um, i like to have interaction with people when I'm vlogging. So uh, I haven't, that's why I haven't vlogged. But anyway, so Mike and I are in Boston right now. We just took a Southwest flight. I'm in my uniform because I literally just finished a trip at 3.30 and then we got on a 4.10 flight to Boston. So I ran from one gate, didn't run. Not allowed to run in my uniform. Went from one gate to another. We got on the flight. We were the last people on the flight, which was good, but we got to sit next to each other. And now we're in Boston and we are hoping to go to Dublin, Ireland. So stay tuned, find out how that goes. It's not looking good right now. And I promise I'm not just trying to be dramatic. Like it really... I'm not saying I'm optimistic, <laughs> but I'm wearing green, so... <laughs> okay. Gotta figure. Got, <laughs> yeah. We got that going for us. Got that going for us, which is nice. So stay tuned, I'll show you what it looks like here. And um, I'm out of breath because we are in Terminal B and we have to walk to Terminal E, which is about, Katie and I did this when we went to, uh, to Lisbon. It's about a mile walk. So, anyway. All right, you guys, this Boston airport's pretty cool. They do not have planes like this in Baltimore. Look at how big this plane is, hold on. Um, it is straight up double-decker the whole way. I've never been on a plane like that. Wouldn't that be fun? Mm -hmm. Maybe next time we'll fly someplace that British Airways flies, just so we can get on a double-decker plane. Where do you think that's going? Well, I guess we could go look at the gate and find out where it's going. Would you want to sit up top? <laughs> You're probably right. Do you think that up top is all first class? Or like, do you think you can sit economy up top? Just, just looking around. <laughs> exactly. So they have double-decker buses in England and they have double-decker planes. Yeah. That's kind of their theme, I guess. Double-decker. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is not the plane we are getting on. At least we don't think so. Who? We might end up on that plane. We have no idea. So let me just bring you up to speed on to what's happened so far. So we listed for two different flights, one on JetBlue and one on Delta. And I know I'm using some lingo, but hopefully um, I can explain if you guys are interested. So what that means is we're on standby basically on both of those flights and both of them are oversold. So we're not sure we're gonna get on either of them. But we're here just in case somebody doesn't show up or there's a misconnection and they didn't, don't get here or something like that. We'll see. And the good news is, so the Delta one goes off first. Oh, there's Southwest, yay. Very well could be our plane. It's just mm -hmm. taking off again. Anyway, so um, the Delta one takes off and then the JetBlue one starts boarding. So we'll know if we get, if we don't make the Delta one in time, hopefully, to get over to the other terminal and get on the JetBlue flight if they have availability. If they don't, then we just walk out and get a hotel and start on it again tomorrow. I guess I'm not the only person that's honored by this. So Mike and I um, are sitting at the bar. We just had a glass of wine. <laughs> I know, it's not good, it's not good. So the Delta, there are two, Mike's trying to reserve a car. Okay, so there are two flights that we're looking at, three actually. So the Aer Lingus flight is booked. The Delta flight might work out. Oh, no, no, the Delta flight's not work, gonna work out. So really in JetBlue. We're just waiting to see if we can get on JetBlue. There are two seats available and four people listed. So we're kind of hoping that people don't show up. I think what's gonna happen, to be honest with you, is I think we're gonna have to spend the night here and then fly out tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, the drama is exciting. So the reason that we're going to Dublin is because Mike never been there before. So Mike's been dying to go and he is really, really busy with work in October and September. So we're like, let's take some time in August and go over to Dublin. Anyway, stay tuned to find out what, what happens next. It's gonna board in like 20 minutes. So we're gonna walk down there and see if we can get on. All right, this is it, you guys. Everybody has boarded. There are two people over there. 
and Mike and I, are, it looks like he's got everything crossed. We are waiting to see if we are standby, waiting to see if we're going to get on. <laughs> final boarding call. Hey, they're still making final boarding calls. Maybe there's people who are supposed to be here. Michael, hang on, buddy. We might need it. Have faith. No luck of the Irish. Oh my gosh. Oh, luck of the Irish. There we go. There, there, might, go be. there might be. It says gate C9. <laughs> guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I think we're getting on the flight. <laughs> I think we're getting on the flight. She just said, just go down, go down, go down. So probably not see you. Oh! <laughs> What's your number? Are we next to you? Uh, I'm 10E. What are you? Excited. I can't believe we made it! Let's go, Michael! Okay, you guys, my favorite part about international flying is the food. So here we go. I made a choice of chicken and tofu. I got tofu because apparently the soba noodles are great. I always ask the flight attendant because they always know when the good food is. That is, I'm not sure. Oh, there's oranges, I think. And some kind of... I don't know what this is. This is oh! two oranges. Excellent. And a little dessert and all the good stuff. Got a glass of wine, my little TV right there. I'm all ready to go. And now, on behalf of all of us here at JetBlue, especially this entire Boston-based and JFK group, we thank you again for flying with us. For those of you from the Dublin area or from Ireland, we'd like to be the first to say, welcome home. We've landed in Ireland. I'm so excited. First of all, they have these little Irish accents. I love them. Um, Mike and I did not sit together. I think I already mentioned that. It was such a pleasant flight. Kudos to JetBlue. Thank you so much for doing an amazing job. And cannot wait to fly you again. Maybe we'll fly you guys back. Um, it's a beautiful day today, but they said it's like 52 degrees which Fahrenheit, I don't know what that means Celsius, it's cold, it just means cold. How was your Aaron flight? Gobra. Aaron Gobra, how was your flight? Uh, well, in the center <laughs> seat. Okay. Now, I never understand why people um, put the shades down, because there's so much to see. I know, I agree. I felt like I was in a closet. Right. Well, it was dark outside. There was really not much to see until well, well, I'm we. Sure, that you could have watched the sunrise and the right coming over the land. Yeah. And... All right. Oh. So this is a PSA for all of you keep, who are. Keep your shades up. Keep your shades up. Yeah. Keep your shades up. At least, if you're doing that, sit in center seat. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, there's our plane. All right. Let me show you. It is fun plane. to eat on a plane. It is fun to eat on a plane. That's one of my most favorite things. Oh, can you see over there? It's sort of hard to see, but there she blows. Um, what did you, what, did you opt for, for the food? I had the chicken and the, I, yeah. I would buy you, um, uh, the feta on the, the on the, yeah, the <laughs> it uh, was, oh, Jill's liking these. Oh, but I didn't get the chicken. I wish I got the snap peas. I got the, a uh, tofu. I know. How was the tofu? Uh, the tofu was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. Oh, there's our plate. It's a better, that's a better view of our plane. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I had the tofu and it came over these soba noodles. It was good. I liked it. I did not like the breakfast as much. It was a Belgian waffle. Ew. Yeah, it wasn't that good. All right, so I'm going to, like, oh, look at the Etihad the Airways. Qatar, huh? Yeah. The brownie. The brownie was it was really good. All right, you guys, let me give you a little bit of a update on what, okay, on us being here. Um, after the Lisbon trip went really well with Katie and I, if you haven't watched that, please watch that video. So much fun. Oh, my gosh, these planes are huge. Michael, look at that, Aer Lingus. That is a humongous aircraft anyway um so we did the kate and i were the test balloon to see how this whole zed thing would work out and it worked out beautifully zed is called zonal employee discount it's like the airline employee discount flight program so we get really 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 great rates on flights so we katie and i were able to go to lisbon and we worked it out but but you fly standby you know you get those rates but you fly standby so we wanted to see we actually do it like is there availability so it worked out well so i said mike where do you want to go i'll take you anywhere where do you want to go he chose ireland he's never been to ireland his last name is donnelly his grandparents uh mike right your grandparents donnelly and brennan 
Yep, straight out. Hey, did you guys know that? Brennan is named after Mike's grandma's maiden name. So, Mr. Donnelly married Mrs. Brennan, and they became, or Miss Brennan. And made a Mike. And they made, they made a John and then a Mike. Mike's always wanted to go to Ireland. I've only been here one time. Now, the funny thing is, we just happened to be here during the football game when Florida State, which as you guys know, if your viewers, Brennan and Katie, our kids, go to Florida State. And they are playing a football game in Ireland hmm. against George Tech. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we just happened to be here. Like we didn't plan to be here at this time because we never thought we could get, like we thought there's no way you can fly standby with all those people going over and get there. Well, guess what? All the flights were booked except, well, and even the one we got on, we but we were up, able to get on. We weren't giving up. We did not give up, Michael. We stood there and we waited and we waited and we went and to the desk down. and she said, go, go get on the plane right now. You guys, it all happened within That's like exciting. seriously 30 seconds. Like it was, in, it was very exciting. Like we didn't even have boarding passes. She goes, just go get on the plane. I'll, I'll bring down your information. I hope, she's, I hope we're not getting anybody in trouble. She's like, I'll bring down your seat assignments. And I got a great seat. I had like the front row seat right behind first class. Pretty nice, but we didn't sit together, obviously. So anyway, that's it so far. So now we have to find a hotel. We don't know where we're staying. It's a beautiful day, but it, did you hear him say, Michael, it's 52 degrees? Uh-oh. Yeah, you got short. shorts. <laughs> Look at him wearing shorts, those beautiful legs. Mm -hmm. All right, it's time to go to a few customs. Mike's mad at the sign. He thinks it should say, please have your passport ready. Okay, we're a little concerned about this one because in America we drive on the right. So Mike's... <laughs> and we did rent a car, so we're going to do that. And look at, they have, oh my gosh, they have our Florida State. Look at, there's Georgia Tech colors. There's the Florida State colors. It's obviously a big thing here in Ireland, in Dublin, a very, very big, big deal. They said like 80,000 people are coming in for it. So there's our Florida State. They've been expecting us. Very exciting. So Mike and I don't have a hotel yet. It wasn't worth booking a hotel if we didn't know we were gonna make it here or not. Then by the time you get on the flight and you like take off and everything, it's like, I don't have time to book a hotel. So while we were in line at Customs, I found a hotel, or we found a hotel that we'd like to stay in. So we're working on booking that right now. Customs went really, really much faster than I thought it was gonna go though, Mike. We didn't really have enough time to book it. So are you gonna go? Okay. Oh, he's gonna hit the loo. And while he's doing that, I will uh, book our hotel. And then he rented a car here so we can go ahead and try to drive on the left. Wish us luck. All right, you guys, there's balloons everywhere. Look at this, is so cool. Colors of Florida State and Georgia State, or Georgia Tech. Oh my gosh, Brendan would love this. Katie would love this. Ryan would love it too. We're heading out to the rental car now. Still don't have a hotel, so we don't know where we're going. Wherever we're going, we'll get there. Oh, it's a beautiful, it's an Audi. But I guess to sit on the other side. I'm a little nervous. All right, we're gonna get in this car. Mike's getting in the opposite side than we do in America. So we've gotta very much concentrate on this drive. So I might not be able to film very much because I'm gonna to have to be the co-pilot and figuring out exactly where it is we're going. Ooh. Take our time and see how we do, right? Yeah, absolutely. If at any point you get nervous, just pull over. Right. Right? Run to the wrong side. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> for those of you who are watching from Europe and European countries, this might not be odd to you. This is very odd to us. And remember, you're, you have to stay on the left. Right. So, like, that's not, you have to be over here. Over here. Yes. Oh, shoot. Not only that, it's a stick, which Mike knows how to drive a stick. Well, I'm not laughing at you at all. I'm laughing at the situation. You're doing a fantastic it job. It feels like you're laughing at me. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, here we go. Mike is doing a lovely job driving. We only made one wrong turn so far, but that was my fault. Keep going to look for the uh, rear view mirror. mirror. Yeah, it's on the wrong side. Right. And we're not sure, you guys, if Up you... Is down left is right. Yes. If you are... Okay, so if you're, if you're in the 
driver's seat on the right hand side but we drive on the left hand side of the road is the fast lane like this is the passing lane on the right or is the passing lane on the left because people keep passing us on the right <laughs> mike i bet it is because this is the merge lane over here is on the left so i bet the passing lane is over there so i think that you're doing exactly the right thing stay to the left all right all right that's my that's my deduction <laughs> we're good that's what we're going with i'm cold uh, yeah, we can't figure out the temperature either. It says 17. I'm not sure what that is, but we were really, really hot. Now we're really, really cold. And we're going 89, which to us would be speeding at home because that's miles per hour. But this is only 54 miles per hour and it's 90 kilometers. But everything is, everything is just cattywampus around here. Thanks for watching, fam. And if you haven't subscribed, do so now so you don't miss any episode of Mike and I as we venture through Ireland.